Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And the very first creation today here is a vanilla creation. Now the rest of them I got today are for Reforge Eden. Uh, and my plan is to uh, just briefly cover uh, the vanilla version of the Scar Megalodon right after this ship here. So I'll just kind of go over the changes in specs of the vanilla version. But the first ship here today is uh, also for vanilla and it is the Sidious SS5 by the Mighty Duck. And it's SV, very cool looking SV. I gotta say, I love this, uh, love the the uh, design of it. It's very, very detailed. It's got a lot of stuff going on here, and a really cool overall shape. Definitely, I like this uh, this bridge area a lot here too, and a lot of the other little aspects of it, um, and even how it's like uh, holding some weapons over here, like these rocket launchers, how that's mounted in there. Really cool thruster housings throughout the uh, the build here too. You got some big thrusters on the back here, and kind of a, a triple uh, thruster arrangement here. That's got to it's got to have a lot of forward thrust, I bet. Uh, then we got a, it looks like a Gatling gun, or I'm sorry, a mini gun on the back there. And uh, what else we got? Four rail guns over here. It looks like uh, a couple of Gatling guns over here. And we also got some uh, mining drills on here. And, of course, the uh, the uh, spotlight. Yeah, this is really, really cool-looking ship here. I definitely like this. Um, yeah, nice design work. Definitely. Very pretty. Wow. Yeah. I like I'm just looking at all these uh, in intricate things here. Like, down in here, you can see... Uh, I don't know. So it looks like we got a pentaxid tank, and look, we're seeing a shield from the uh, through the glass there. This part here is really uh, really unique too. It's got uh, yeah, some more of the framework on the inside here, and all these different like pieces, like this part of the ship and this part of the ship, and it's all kind of made to look like it's uh, bolted up to like a, a central frame going throughout the uh, the creation. Again, very nice looking ship. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the inside here. So, kind of uh, looking for a door here a minute. Um, I did see one on the top. Maybe I'll just use that. I was just kind of curious if there was a, a ground access door uh, somewhere on here. I'm not seeing one, so maybe I'll find it from the inside. So, let's hop in here. Let me uh, adjust the lighting really quick. See what's going on here. And, uh, I don't think we have any lights on the inside. So, here, let me put the lighting back on. There we go. So, it looks like we're in. I'll look for another way uh, to the outside from the inside here. Oh, looks like we got a, uh, a story here. Oh, that's cool. Some uh, information text here. I like this, uh, this setup here, the way these uh, displays are. Um, oh, this is pretty interesting, too. Uh... Yeah, so we got a, a LCD right up over here, kind of uh, listing a bunch of things. Um, so the main glass on the top, you uh, actually sit below that, but it looks like you uh, you are flying through this window right here, which can kind of so you can see the runway or whatnot uh, below you there. And a double layer uh, set of glass on the on the top here. And a couple passenger seats, a couple armor lockers. Looks like we have our four, uh, I would say, advanced CPU cores for uh, vanilla tier, uh, tier 4 build type. A couple thrusters on the side there. I like that uh, little caution bar across the top there, too. Yeah, just cool little details like that in this, uh, this big uh, deco light here. Very cool. So it looks like over here we're uh, we're uh, walking on top of the warp drive, uh, right below here through the grates. Is that, yeah, right there. And then inside of here we've got uh, looks like some uh, uh, storage controllers, a fridge, a uh, box, some O2 tanks. Our main core. I like the uh, display here as well. We've got a constructor uh, above that, and then you can see your uh, SV shield above that in this area. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, everything's accessible really, really quick to the uh, inside. 
Um, not really seeing another way in or out of the ship besides the uh, the top door here. Uh, at least right now. Yeah, I think I think that's it. But yeah, very very cool setup here. Let's take a look at some specs here a minute. Um, so, it is very fast going forward. I figured it would be. It had some really big forward thrust on here. So, 350 MS forward. Keep in mind, this is vanilla too, so these numbers would be bigger than they would be in Reforged Eden. Um, so, 18 strafing, 32 uh, lift, and 63 down, 63 reverse on there. Um as weapons loadout, two Gatling guns, three rocket launchers, uh, two uh, drill modules, four rail guns, detector, and a minigun turret. So, yeah, f fairly, fairly, uh, it looks like you could use it to attack some stuff with your uh, rail guns and rocket launchers, and then uh, a little bit of defensive action with the minigun turret, and things like that. A couple drill modules on here, too. Let's take a look at the CPU real quick. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, playing really nice with Tier 4 vanilla build. 100,000 CPU, just staying right under that. Uh, looks like the author tried to use as much CPU as they could, uh, which I do the same thing myself. Um, if you got, got the CPU, you might as well try to use it. Um, so that's very cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's get into the storage. So we've got an ammo controller at, it uh, looks like 348. Uh, and then three other, we got two ore and wood controllers, or your harvest controllers. Looks like they're they're at three three forty eight, and the main controller. Okay, looks like all the uh, storage controllers are at three forty eight on this one. It could be a bit of a problem if you're using it uh, to mine and things with, because that's not really going to hold very much ore. Uh, you probably want a little bit bigger uh, uh, controllers in here for for that. Um, and it does have a cargo box and a fridge and taxi tank on. On the side of that, but yeah, very very cool to, cool looking ship and design there. Um, a couple things when I first spawned it into, um, I did make a change. Um, I, I noticed that there's a couple windows here that were tinted uh, reverse of uh, what what they probably should be, and it's one of those weird things in the game that if you don't know it, you don't know it. I didn't know it when I first started building. But what I did is I, I took out a multi-tool, I set it to change and rotate, and I uh, changed it. So I think when I first uh, spawned the ship and I noticed that these two windows here were like that. I don't know if that was by intention or not. So I just, uh, uh, but if you hit it with a multi-tool, again, under change and rotate, you can reverse the tinning on the windows. Um, I think I also did that to this window, not that window, but this window right here. Um, just so the author knows, if uh, it, it, it's uh, one of those weird things that, you know, if you don't know it, you don't know it. It's, uh, it doesn't really uh, come out at you as, as a thing you can do. So I just wanted to uh, let the author know about that for any uh, future uh, builds or, or whatnot. It's just a, it's a really good uh, thing to know. And like, if, like for whatever reason, if you wanted to reverse the tint here, not that, not, not that I'm saying you should, but you could. Uh, so you could reverse that and kind of black that out if you wanted to, or just kind of invert it back to uh, uh, more see-through from that side. So anyway, uh, very, very cool ship. Again, this is the Sidious SS-5 by the Mighty Duck. So before I go over to the five Reforged Eden creations, I just wanted to cover real quick what's going on with the uh, vanilla version of the Scar Megalodon. So I think I got this almost uh, ready now. Um, I took away all the 640k storage bays, replaced them with 320k storage bays, and the method I used to do that to be accurate, because it was almost impossible to find the storage bays inside of the, the hull of the ship, um, was I used the console command to remove all the uh, container extensions, and then I rebuilt them all. It was the only way I could really be accurate about it and, not, and make sure I'm not like using any uh, container extensions that weren't actually being used. It was nearly impossible to fly through the hull and find them all. So that was a method I used. Uh, because of that, I did have to rebuild a lot of flooring and walls and rooms and retexture things inside of the ship. Now, some other changes that were made is, unfortunately, um, 
the uh, the glass. I was using shutter windows primarily around the ship uh, for the, its glass. And in vanilla, they are uh, opaque if you have the airtight version, which I absolutely had to have on this ship. So I had to pretty much replace all the windows with old school uh, armored glass. Uh, so not not even the fancy glass, but the uh, the old school glass uh, pretty much throughout the entire ship. There's some areas that I left the shutter windows for uh, strafing thruster upgrades here. And you can see the effect that vanilla does for with these uh, windows. It basically makes one side completely opaque and blue, which totally didn't go with anything else in the ship. Uh, so that's why I had to cut those in most places, um, except for here. I think that might be the only place that I did not cut those uh, windows out. I even had to pull them from the interior as well along the farm and other places in the ship too because they just don't, uh, unfortunately, you can't see through them in vanilla. And that was a great uh, update uh, in Reforged Eden. I didn't even realize how much of a significant update that was to allow you to see through uh, both directions on these windows of course if they're airtight um, so that is uh, that is another change another uh, thing that I did do is I popped in more thrusters than it had on the reforged Eden version so it now does have all six of its lift thrusters and all four of its uh, forward thrusts on here um, it, in their uh, default it is lacking two strafing thrusters but I'm out of CPU for it now I also did uh, Add in two new 320k storage bays. Let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, right over here. So let's see. It has ammo bay at 320k, and then you have 14 320k uh, storage controllers on here. And then, of course, a whole ton of boxes in the ship as well. So that's how that worked out in the end. So I took away the eight 640s and replaced them with... Um, essentially 10 320s uh so it, it's not one to one but uh it's better and uh vanilla charges a lot more for storage too so just just keep that in mind i did also add a couple turrets i also put the teleporter back in place uh and the advanced repair bay and console so all those things are ready uh when you first get the ship so you really don't really need to do much in upgrades uh, i also modified the uh up part upgrade sign here so basically you can add in two more drive thrusters for strafing uh, you, it's got two more constructor or deconstructor slots uh, you have, of course the 324 uh, grow plots and you can add an artillery to it as well now in the main crafting area on this version I did populate it with a lot more advanced constructors so it actually has this room filled up with uh, eight advanced constructors here so it's uh, pretty much ready for business. I did alter all the signs to say 320K as well and the, uh, the information in the background uh, when you look at your storage. Um, and then other things like the uh, repair bay and console are in place now too. So I just wanted to kind of cover that. Um, Spec-wise, uh, on the numbers, uh, it did go up one in size class, and I'm really not sure why it did. Uh, at this point in time, but it did actually go up a little bit in size class uh, to 29 instead of 28. Uh, 287 forward, 72 strafing, 430 lift, uh, 143 reverse, 143 down. So it's even without the extra strafing thrust, thrusters in here, it, it's pretty quick ship. Probably probably a bit on the too quick of side, I would say. <laughs> Um, 21 hour and three minute build time does require some estrium and zacosium, uh, 2876 uh, on both of those. Uh, CPU wise, it has a little bit of leftover CPU, um, but it is uh, up to the uh, four advanced CPU cores, uh, creating 10 million CPU, and it's using, well, most of it. You got about 50,000 left over. Um, I did uh, pop in a couple extra turrets on here as well. So some turret resistance that I had unfilled in the Reforged Eden version, like down over here, now I have turrets there. Uh, and then the last thing I had to do too is remove all the solar panels, and uh, I put I built like a new uh, wall or uh, block work uh, where they were before. Now, all I, all I want you to uh, do understand though, anybody that uh, wants this from vanilla, keep in mind that the uh, the ship was built for Reforged Eden. 
Most of its part upgrades and things were designed for reforging and including like where the solar panels were, um, which are now just empty rooms. Um, and uh, some other areas like that, like the other side of the ship has a lot of uh, uh, part upgrading uh, pieces like a uh, you know, large shields and fusion reactor and medium shields and all that stuff. Um, none of this really plays with vanilla because none of these parts exist for vanilla. So you're just going to have areas that just are set up for a different game, essentially, and not really going to do anything for you in vanilla. Um, I don't really feel like rebuilding all of it and uh, turning it into some form of fluff, but I just don't have any other, like, legit parts to add in a vanilla version of the ship, essentially. But uh, spec-wise, you know, it's got a, quite a lot of storage in it. got a big farm. It's got uh, two module bays, which I still have yet to make a, mo a module for. And uh, that's that's pretty much where it's at. So I just wanted to uh, kind of show you that. Um, now my plan is to get this out probably Sunday, but I think my method is going to be a little bit different from how I normally release something. I might have this so it's not public but completely accessible, and then I will add a vanilla link to the existing Megalodon uh, Reforged Eden ship. Uh, so you can get the uh, the vanilla version without having to have like a whole new release of the ship. Um, this way, it won't uh, clog up the uh, the workshop uh, spotlight or anything like that if it if it were to go there um, and stuff like that. And if you if you look at the Megalodon for Reforge Eden, it'll have a link to the vanilla version there. So anyway, move it on. Let's uh, get over to Reforge Eden here. This is where I got the rest of the uh, creations today spawned. Now, the first uh, creation, uh, which is a building or a, a base, um, I believe can work in either Reforged Eden, Vanilla, or uh, Star Salvage. So uh, we'll look at that first, and then we'll move on from there. Just adjust the lighting here real quick. So let's start here. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is this is uh, Babylon by Rakuna, and this is a uh, very very tall uh, tower structure. Um, looks like it has some defense and everything else. Really unique. Don't see much like this on the workshop. But look at this thing. This thing is. I don't even know how tall this is. It's pretty crazy. So I kind of spawned it on the side here. So a little bit, little bit of the uh, the walkway on the other side is kind of buried, but you can kind of see what it would look like here. Um, I was uh, trying to keep it close, and there wasn't much flat flat ground right here in this uh, area. But wow, let's go up the tower here a minute. Ah, that's crazy. I like the uh, the block work, how it kind of uh, it's roundish, but it kind of cuts in with some uh, texture lights in the uh, in the mix here. Uh, it just keeps on going up and up. Looks like we got a door on this level here. Uh, yeah, another door. Uh, a lot of doors, actually. Holy smokes, we're still going upward here. Now we're finally up to this uh, kind of ground defense uh, turret mount positions here. So we got. Looks like we got four minigun turrets to uh, shoot in the general vicinity here. Looks like they would probably have a easy time picking away anything that tried to uh, crawl up on the on the uh, the tower here holy smokes we're still going up yeah this is gonna have uh, I bet you uh, a pretty insane elevator on the inside oh here let me just buzz right up to the uh, the top here Wow yeah we are going up a long ways hope you're not scared of heights <laughs> holy smokes yeah, look at this. So it changes once you get up to the top here. You've got these uh, these other bays. Oh, it looks like uh, farm modules that kind of uh, tie into the center structure here. I like these uh, these big frame pieces here, kind of going out for us, uh, like support beams. And then then we got a larger structure on top here, which is probably the the base itself. Oh, look at that. We got a hangar like way up in the air. Yeah, and we are up in the air too. I tell you. Make this much taller, go all the way to space. We'll call it a space elevator. <laughs> wow. Well, anyway, I don't want to start there. Let me uh, let me go all the way back down here again, and we'll uh, 
jump in here and see what's going on here. So it looks like, oh man, so we do have an elevator, but it looks like we have a full staircase as well. I wonder how many steps are involved in the uh, the stair climb here. I bet you an awful, awful lot. Wow, that would tire you out. But you got an elevator in the middle, so who cares? <laughs> wow, that's cool though. I kind of, I kind of dig that uh, whole uh, stairway going along the sides here. Now I know certain levels obviously have a way out, which you could, uh, I don't know, leap from. <laughs> that, that, that's cool. You could too. I mean, you, you got your jetpack, so you could, uh, you could jump out one of those doors and safely land on the ground if you turn on your jetpack at at the right time. I like the interior here. The uh, lighting and everything I think looks really cool. Um, kind of all that cyan uh, lighting. Uh, quite detailed on the inside too. A lot of different texturing and things going on here. But holy smokes. Look how this is, this is crazy. This really goes up a long ways. All right. Wow. Here, let me uh, hold down the, uh, the shift key. <laughs> wow. Wow. We're still getting there, guys. We're still getting there. Holy smokes. Wow. I, I'm even, like, booking here faster than you could. This would be a long elevator. You know, if you're uh, in-game itself and you're using the uh, the elevator, not even the staircases, it'd be a long walk uh, just going straight up in-game. In I uh, held down the shift key to, to move extra fast uh, going up there. But uh, So it looks like once we get to the top, we got a teleporter right over here. And then it uh, lets you out on the balcony here, which is going goes into this really cool looking hangar out on the top here. It's kind of open architecture in this area. Oh, well, we've got a shield. Got some side uh, observation rooms over here. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, that's uh, completely open, isn't it? It's not even a room. It's a balcony. Some fancy uh, cooking pot log burners there. Nice touch there. Looks like we got armor repair. Got some glass uh, below you to uh, see how far uh, you would fall if you happen to uh, fall somehow. <laughs> I don't want to look down. <laughs> Two fridges over here. Nice little uh, cooking station set up over here. Two food processors. Again, oh, look at this big glass window here with the door. Another balcony over here. Wow, this has quite the view, though. I tell you, the overlooking view like crazy. That's that's uh, that is that is really cool. I like the center structure here, to, uh, supporting the uh, the shield to this uh, very round uh, blockwork uh, piece here, which is actually oh, this is uh, this is where I came out of there, the central elevator. So we actually have yeah, it's got basically a double hanger set up here. So we got a hanger on either side. Looks like over in the uh, this area here, we've got uh, medical. Uh, uh, pieces here to get all fixed up uh, two of the those this one over here we got on the other side ah, different stuff okay your armor locker and armor repair over there and then we have a uh, production setup over here it's like uh, one advanced constructor a couple small constructors ATM and oh man okay there's an elevator that goes up again so, yeah, this gets a little bit taller yet, doesn't it? Yeah, cool-looking room, though. Very, very detailed uh, and usable, too. I mean, obviously, you can fly in SVs or, or small CVs into the uh, the hangar doors. They look like pretty uh, good-sized hangar doors. But, well, maybe just 5x7s, uh, I think. Yeah, it's seven blocks across there. Wow. Okay, so let's take one of these elevators go up here i love these balconies by the way that's that, that's really cool so okay so this gets into a catwalk up top here looks like we got uh solar capacitors and generators up in the top area here and our pentaxa tank and kind of a uh, glass overlooking the uh the hangar below yeah very cool very cool really interesting creation this could be uh could probably work out pretty uh Pretty cool as a POI, too. I'm curious on its size class. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, oh, you know what? And I missed something over here, too, because we have this floor. Let me get in here. So before we went all the way up to the top where that teleporter was, there was the floor right below that. 
which gets you to the uh, the farming section here. What a view! <laughs> what a view from the farm location, completely uh, encased with glass. So I would say we've got 36 girl plots uh, amongst four of these off to the sides here. So hey, you can do your farming, you can do your production. We'll take a look at the storage and other things like that. And it also has, uh, you know, your uh, utility. Uh, you can get healed up, uh, repair your armor, that kind of thing. Uh, one thing I didn't know, uh, didn't look for, is whether it had a repair bay uh, for the um, the hangar areas here. Just kind of curious if that was something that was in here or not. Not seeing it, no. Didn't see a repair console either. So, anyway, that is really cool. If you want a uh, a basin game. That is really quite safe from anything that could uh, mess with you inside of game. Uh, this this is your base here. You are uh, uh, those poor Xerox. They have no clue on how to attack you. <laughs> and if they try from the the ground, those uh, well placed turrets down over here should make short work of them. Um, and while well, the aid of the the minigun turrets there should be able to have a, a very wide range on what they can fire on, including downward. So very cool, not to mention a whole lot of sentry guns along the uh, the ground floor here too to prevent any illegal entries. So let's take a look at the uh, specs here. So, oh well, I uh, I guess it's a, it is over a little bit on the uh, the CPU. Um, I, it looks like it would need another. Uh, here, I better get some more fuel in here too. Oh, I don't have any fuel. Um, Oh, a little bit more CPU uh, to be added in here. Uh, size class 19. Uh, so we got four fuel tanks, six oxygen tanks. Obviously, it uh, we see the solar capacitors. Hold on, is this something I'm missing here? Um, solar panels. Maybe I didn't look at the top of this. Oh, I did not look at the top of this. Oh, look at that really cool glass work there. Uh, I did see a solar capacitor in here. I wonder if it's got some hidden solar panels in here. So, yeah, our CPU cores right up in here. Or maybe I didn't... Did, am I just seeing things? For some reason, I thought there was solar involved here, but I'm not seeing the panels. Um, and I'm not actually seeing... Oh, yeah, there's a solar capacitor right there. So I did see one. But, uh... Where is the solar panel? Figured it would be up on top here. Which, I'm not seeing any uh, solar panels. I'll look at the specs here and see if it lists anything on that. Again. So, uh, solar. No, it doesn't really say anything about solar here. So it does have a solar capacitor, but I'm not seeing any solar panels, at least on its stock. 17-hour uh, and 35-minute build time. Gonna need some tribal furnishings for this guy. <laughs> no, that's um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, really cool, really cool. Yeah, the eight minigun turrets and it looks like uh, six sentry guns on here. Really cool and unique base, though. I tell you what, uh, you can uh, plant this down and then pretty much hang out in the sky with uh, uh, flying uh, vehicles. I don't think there's any way you're gonna get a HV up here unless you unload it from a CV or something, but. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. I love the uh, love the idea and the concept and these balconies going around here. That's that is very, very cool. So again, this is the uh, the Babylon by Rakuna. Really, uh, really creative, uh, interesting build there. I love it, love it. Very cool. So the next creation here. This is uh, something a lot different than the last one. This is uh, the RE Rook Starter by. Karek. Um, and uh, just just so you know, this was a, uh, a overhaul of a Seleucidcore build. So this uh, wasn't the... Uh, so this is based on another ship by Seleucidcore um, and it was kind of like rebuilt or, or modified. So j just just so you know that. It, it did say that in the, uh, the description of the, uh, the creation. So... Uh, I'll read that sign in a second here. This is a pretty cool uh, shape ship here, too. It looks like we've got embedded solar panels in quite a lot of locations here along the ship. like the uh, the color tone differences here. 
Again, I, I don't exactly know how to compare it to the original here, so I'm just kind of uh, looking at it for what it is here. Um, I like the, uh, the sign there with the, uh, the chess pieces or the, uh, the rooks. <laughs> kind of makes a lot of sense there. And it looks like we've got uh, additional like weapon mount points over here, but these are we got antennas in there right now as filler. Probably trying to keep this uh, inexpensive on CPU. And it has a lot of info, info panels here on it. Uh, uh, generator, upgrade, retrieve. So a bunch of instructions on how to upgrade the ship as well. Yeah, so this is a uh, starter vessel too so we got a mining upgrade section over here i like how that's done so you can kind of like look at the area of the ship it basically tells you what to do to add the uh the parts to increase its functionality six forward thrusters a cool looking thruster uh, housings again i love seeing all these uh thruster housings i remember back in the day when well myself and probably a lot of other people we kind of made more blobby looking creations and just kind of randomly threw some thrusters in the hall and and, and, and called it a day and, and now everybody's uh, doing all these really fancy intricate separ separation of thrusters and uh, all this uh, really really cool detail work which looks so much nicer it really does it really makes things stand out a lot well the uh, the cockpit here too it looks like it's got more information on the inside there as well yeah, really cool wow look at this yeah, more information over here. Yeah, that's a, a interesting way to lay out all the uh, the details here, kind of on location, so you don't have to like look at a panel inside the ship and then fly out and then try to figure out what uh, it was saying. So I kind of like that idea a lot, actually. So uh, anyway, let's uh, looks like we got a couple ways in from the ground to get into the ship. We can go up the uh, the hangar here or the the front door. I'm gonna adjust the lighting a minute and we'll. Don't want to go full dark with it here, but uh, something like dusk here. So let's go in the front door here. So right into the bridge. Well, maybe not. The lower bridge. Yeah, there's an upper bridge here. So yeah, this is kind of a lower bridge. So it looks like a yeah, like a more of a, a room here. We got a television right up front, computer desk, chair, a couple beds, armor, locker, cooking or a food processor, a couple of fridges. So a lot of uh, utility function here. We got a, a bathroom and a kitchen counter over here too. So uh, definitely a, uh, a room for the captain or the crew. And then here we go up uh, one half step there and then we are to the main bridge. So there's our pilot seat there and some more information here. Oh, uh, more of a bit of a story here and some uh, other information about LCDs and whatnot. That's cool. I, I, I love it when there's a lot of upgrades and you, you get this in a game at, at one uh, stage. Uh, probably a little bit uh, less money and then you, uh, you build it up over time and uh, add a lot more functionality and parts and things that require CPU and stuff to it. Very cool. I like this uh, setup here with the consoles and stuff right around the elevator. So let's take this uh, back door here. Looks like we got a uh, storage controller right over here. And then it uh, gets down into this section. So it looks like we've got our full medical bay here. Uh, all the specialized parts plus our uh, med station and O2. We had a shower and a... Oh, the shower's right here too. Very nice. Yeah, that's 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 perfect. And we've got, uh, looks like, uh, what, six... Twelve. Twelve grow plot locations. Kind of a little bit skinnier of a farm, but kind of a... Uh, yeah, it should work out pretty good. Yeah, all 12 mark blocks, install hydroponics units, salvage the uh, UPG Hydro LCD. So it even tells you to take out the LCD. That's, that, that is cool. Oh, a place for a teleporter over here and how to install that and uh, set it to uh, teleport already set. Okay, yeah, cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, nice utility floor there. Definitely like it. Like the uh, the brown on the inside here too. It's a pretty cool looking uh, sh uh, color tone there. I like that. Let's take the elevator upward here. Oh, and it looks like we're just right out. 
Let me uh, take one more leap back this way. I just want to see if I'm missing a uh, another way through, which I am. Good thing I did. So yeah, this is what walks to the uh, the back area of the ship. Oh, so over here looks like we've got a, a little bit uh, another setup here for uh, production and things like that. A lot of uh, storage boxes, storage controller, advanced constructor, a bunch of information on. Uh, a lot of things here. I don't really want to read all these signs. Take a while. Not the uh, greatest reader in the world, but that is uh, that is really cool. I like uh, check power before upgrading shields. Uh, places for constructors and even tells you to salvage everything. That that's really cool. The uh, the author really took a lot of time to uh, try to make this as easy as possible for uh, players using the uh, the ship here. And even talks about CPU upgrades, generator upgrades. Wow, that, that, that is really explicit there. I, uh, really nice uh, work on, on how you did all that there. A lot of work, too. I mean, making all these LCDs and getting all that information in here. Now, it does look like we have a gravity generator back here, Pentax tank, and our warp drive. Uh, I think that's it. CPU core blocks, main CPU core right over there. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. And we're at the top. Oh, that's not an elevator. I just walked into a wall. <laughs> All right. And this was teleporter. So let me, uh, I'm going to do something here. I want to go out of the ship and I want to walk in to the back area. I didn't see a tie-in, but I, I don't doubt there is. I just missed it. So over here, uh, coming into the, uh, the hangar, which is kind of underneath the ship, a pretty cool, uh, hangar set up there. Uh, so we got some utility function in here, some cargo boxes, our armor locker, O2, uh, ox ox uh, ventilator. Oh yeah, right over over here. So yeah, all this ties together right across the uh, the farm. I just did not see the, uh, the the side hallways here. So yeah, everything ties together on the interior, so you can get anywhere you want from. You can come in at least from the ground in two different uh, locations. Yeah, very cool. So, because this is a starter CV, I'm really curious on its specifications. Let me turn the light back on here a minute. And obviously it has solar too, so it's going to be less power consumption uh, versus a ship without solar. Um, probably not enough to drive the whole entire ship, though. Usually is not the case, but uh, good enough to uh, park it and keep the farms running and who knows, maybe even some uh, production when if you're not online at the time. So, uh, let's see, to start with here, we are unlock level 12. So, yeah, well in the uh, the starter CV category. The thrust speeds are really quite good on this. Uh, pretty balanced. Uh, 61 forward, 41 strafing, and down. 61 lift, 41 reverse as well. 5 hour and 40 minute build time. Uh, doesn't require any Zacosium or Arrestrium. A uh, little bit of elemental pentaxid, not really a big deal. And your normal stuff you'd need with any kind of CV, titanium and neo, six fuel tanks, uh, two oxygen tanks, four ventilators, two stations, three minigun turrets, and a detector. CPU-wise, yeah, look at that. Uh, so it's got basically a basic CPU core in here, and that is it. It doesn't use quite all the CPU. It's got a little bit of leftover, which is uh, very nice. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, definitely a, a nice uh, starter uh, CV creation. Uh, a little bit uh, different design. I love the uh, in integration of the solar panels in here. And all the explicit directions on what you can do uh, to upgrade the ship, including here's uh, talking about the long-range radar, getting rid of uh, uh, probably the obvious uh, deco radar piece that was on here. And same thing, you know, with mining and salvaging. Uh, let's take a look at your storage here, too. So uh, everything in here is, looks nice and labeled. So we got 40k for our O2 fuel, 320k harvest bay, general cargo at 320k and 40k or 44k ammo uh, uh, controller, and then uh, all the uh, miscellaneous boxes and everything are also labeled. Very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, well set up for gameplay usage and uh, for so people uh, know know what they're doing with the ship and and what it's capable of doing and uh, where to upgrade everything. That's really cool. 
So again, this is the uh, the Rook Starter CV RE, uh, or actually RE dash Rook Starter CV by uh, Kaurik, uh, K A H R E K. Very very cool. Uh, um, and this was a uh, redoing one of uh, Salusta Core's uh, previous builds, uh, or basically uh, kind of modifying it and uh, turning it into something something a little different so uh very very cool work here again so the next creation here this is the jumper 2 evo by sk4 uh this is a uh sv uh ah, cool looking one here let me adjust the lighting here oh lighting doesn't adjust very much <laughs> okay uh here i i know try that that'll help okay so yeah look at this nice little uh well not 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 so little i like the uh the whole kind of roundest hull design here uh very smooth big big uh open cockpit here looks like we got a, a pilot seat a couple passenger seats right inside of there uh let me make sure i'm looking at the right thing here i want to see if these are drills yeah they are drills there are some weapons that look the same, and that's why I'm just trying to be a little more accurate with that. I don't know exactly by looking at the part what it is. So we got some rail guns over here. Laser cannons. I like the uh, the side thruster mounts. Oh, look at this setup over here with the uh, strafing thrusters here. And the uh, LCD, or I'm sorry, texture light uh, block work going out to these uh, side lift thrusters. Looks like it's going to have a quite a lot of lift thrust to it. And uh, is this a real one? Yeah, that's a real one. Okay, so uh, actual long range radar. Now look at the back here. Uh, look at these uh, these cut ins to the uh, the thrusters here. That's uh, that's really cool. I, it, it's uh, interesting because you got the uh, you know it's round here and this this one here changes the shape a little bit. And I think that that looks really cool. I like that. Um, just kind of changing the overall shape, and then you got the texture lights around there as well. That is that is yeah, very cool. Yeah, nice looking ship. Oh, look at the top area here. Kind of some in, indented uh, reverse thrust in this section, set up with the same types of uh, thruster housings. Thruster housings, excuse me. All right, well, let's take a look on the inside here. See what is going on. Well, I don't know if I should even bother adjusting the uh, the lighting. <laughs> it usually uh, kind of messes things up. So yeah, it looks like a lot of function as soon as you walk in here. A lot of stuff going on here. So we got a generator uh, off to the side here behind glass. A couple of fuel tanks. Another generator up there. Another generator there. Uh, all our CPU core blocks here looks like this is uh, if I were to guess I would say this is a core 8 build we'll see we'll see in the end uh, oh, I like how it's labeled on the outside here so we got a uh, pretty good storage uh, controller over here 21 K in there another uh, 19 K in here so about 40 K combined our main CPU core is right over here it gets into the bridge. Oh, we got a uh, trauma station, some cargo boxes over there, more cargo boxes, and a storage controller over, over on this section over here, too. Very cool. Uh, system status, weapons locker. I'll have to check the P menu, see if there's uh, some options. Looks like we have some heads up display going on here, too. Weapons active, spotlights active, performance mode active. Got some wood grain going on up here too. That's 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 kind of cool. Nice little fancy tuts there. Yeah, and other than that, it's yeah, pretty straightforward uh, going th through here. Uh, quite a lot of generators in here. Let's see what's behind the uh, the doors over here. Oh, shield parts too. Nice. So we'll definitely have to take a look at the shield strength. Warp drive over here. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of function going on here, definitely. 
And again, it kind of looks like it's set up for some some mining, some uh, just general usage, uh, some combat capabilities as well. Yeah, very cool. So what, what, what makes you tick here? So unlock level 20, size class 2, 63 forward, 35 strafing, 86 lift. Uh, that's good. Set up for uh, moving a uh, good amount of cargo. 49 reverse, 25 down, two Gatling cannons, uh, three uh, drill lasers, two rail guns, two laser uh, cannons, and long range radar. So with the weapon loadout here too, you could uh, take on some POIs uh, as well. So you could use the laser uh, cannons to uh, take out the shield of the POI, use the rail guns to uh, uh, take out turrets or other things you want to take out on the POI. Uh, five hour and twenty, uh, I'm sorry, five hour and forty two minute build time on here. It is going to require some estrium and zacosium. Uh, probably for a lot to do with the thrusters and maybe some of the weapons on here. CPU wise, uh, it's a core nine build. Okay, so uh, 60,000 CPU comes right in under that, which is perfect. Uh, just have a heavy shield generator in here. Speaking of that, um, let's take a look at its shield strength. So it's 2420 and its uh, total shield strength. Um, I'm not sure on the capacitors. I was told many times to look in defense uh, since the last time I screwed that up, which I totally did. Sorry about that. Uh, so defense, this will give you a lot better information of what is installed. So we have a heavy shield generator small shield capacitor and small shield charger in there so this one actually is uh should accelerate the uh the shield charging a little bit it does take a little bit of the shield away to do that um and this one will add 500 to it so yeah definitely uh an enhanced shield on here uh let's see we looked at cpu we looked at that let's take a look at your storage so let's see jumper two so looks like everything in here is nicely labeled like that so we got uh it's like quite a few different uh boxes but then we got three main storage controllers so yeah if you add up all the numbers here you're over uh you're you're over 60k pretty close to 65k or maybe right on 65k uh total storage uh one thing i was looking for is um i mean oh right there oh yeah plus uh almost 20k for ammo this would be in the ammo bay here, so that's another big one. So yeah, a lot of storage in here, and it has the uh, uh, it is totally appears to have the uh, lift thrust to be able to deal with that too, fill this thing up and uh, and move on. Uh, might even uh, deal with some higher gravity situations, pretty good. Just taking a look one more time at its lift thrust. Yeah, 86. That's that is pretty good. Good forward thrust as well, and the, the thrust in general is uh, set up uh, really well. So again, this is the uh, the Jumper 2 uh, EVO by SK4. Really cool build there. It looks, uh, looks like it would work out pretty good in game for a lot of different functions. So the next one here, this is uh, this is something I got in new releases. This is, uh, I'm going to have a hard time saying the name of the ship here, but is the Agrippa, if I said that correctly, Class Cruiser by, the author name is T-Z-R-Y-Y-L-O-N-5. Uh, I have no idea how to say that, uh, so I'll just make up a new word if I did. Um, uh, yeah, that's a uh, cool-looking ship here. It's kind of taking a look at its uh, general design. It's a little, it's a little unique because it's got kind of like this big uh, ship over here, but you actually it looks like you pilot it from down under, and uh, it kind of sits right up there. Uh, Some some big uh, thruster uh, housings there, kind of mounted to the side here, with some uh, some neat looking texture light uh, pipes and things like that. And uh, oh, I like the main uh, drive thruster here. That's uh, cool how it's laid out. So you got a big one and then a big XL. That's a three block width one there, I think. And then uh, six of the smaller ones. These are uh, the large thrusters on the sides here. It looks like it's going to have a lot of. Uh, a lot of thrust power going on in here. This is a pretty cool touch here. It's using that one uh, thin block that can uh, be kind of reversed 
and give you that, that uh, triple angle there that allows you to uh, texture those separately. That's a nice touch there. I like how they, all the uh, texture lights kind of blend in. It all kind of work together nicely. And I would say, uh, yeah, we got some combat steel here, I'm thinking. And I would guess that uh, there's a, these are uh, turret mount positions. There's probably quite a few on here. I'm not seeing it to have a lot of gun stock, but it looks like it certainly has locations to add a lot of... Uh, a lot of turrets here, yeah, up on the top side here as well. The back. Yeah, really, really unique here. Let me just, uh, I have a feeling the whole thing's built of combat steel, but I'm not sure on that. I thought, just thought I would check here. Yeah, it kind of looks like it is a combat steel creation. So, yeah, combat steel creations do need a lot of thrust, too, because they are, they are quite heavy. But, uh, yeah, you got a lot more hit points on your blocks, too. So, always trade-offs. So, just checking out this uh, this lower area here. It looks like there's a door on the back side there. I was just seeing if there's a, another ramp here. So, let's open this up. Yep, yeah, and here's our kind of way. And it looks like you'd have to kind of, if you were parked right on the ground, you'd probably have to jet pack up into here and then kind of uh, get into this area here. So if you got just kind of open room to put whatever you'd want in there. And then we're right to the uh, the pilot seat. Holy smokes. Yeah, that was... Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got more. Nope, that's where we came in at. So it kind of looks like the whole top of the ship is all about combat and being, and being tough. And you pretty much just uh, uh, jump in here and uh, take control of it. Um, pretty interesting concept there. Let me just fly around on the inside of this a minute and see if I'm missing stuff. Oh, I am missing stuff, ain't I? How do we get there? Hold on, let me look in here. Again, am I missing an elevator? Yes, I am, right here. Yep, let me uh, go up. So, yeah, a lot more interior. <laughs> so, over here, it looks like we've got a whole lot of storage boxes in this uh, pretty cool uh, setup here. Uh, really well lit. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of boxes. Yeah, let's go this direction. Okay, it looks like we got Wi-Fi here. Storage controllers, plural. So, two, let's go up some more here. Ah, then we got a full medical bay here. Very cool, stylized the same as the, uh, the other area there with the uh, pretty bright. And, uh, yeah, this, this back area here looks like it would be a, uh, a landing pad. So you can kind of park something up here and uh, gain access to the ship in this section. Ah, really cool here. Let me just do one more fly in here. Just curious on one thing. Are these, uh, is this combat or is this, you know, or, no, I think they got combat. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a lot of parts and stuff installed in here. Oh, we got some shield parts, too. We're definitely going to have to check out its shield. But, yeah, definitely it looks like it's set up to be a, a pretty uh, pretty decent combat vessel with a lot of uh, turret positions. I wonder if it had any launcher positions uh, set up here, possibly. Some of these areas here. All right. Well, anyway, let's look at some numbers here. So, size class 2. Uh... Despite being of combat uh, steel, it does move pretty good. So 75 forward thrust, 27 strafing, 18 lift and down, and 36 reverse. Uh, 18 fuel tanks, 6 oxygen tanks, 14 hour and 46 minute build time. Again, this thing is screaming for all its, its weaponry. Uh, I do believe it was uh, more designed to be a combat vessel. Uh, than anything else, especially with its hull material and the way uh, the amount of uh, open turret positions and things like that on here. We do have a detector and a long-range radar. Uh, CPU-wise, uh, it's uh, staying well within the uh, Core 9 or 2.1 million build for Reforged Eden. It looks like you could add a lot of those guns, uh, any ones you want, really, um, to fill all those slots in uh, without upgrading the ship. Uh, 
with more CPU or anything like that. So that 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 is also cool. Um, let's take a look at your storage. So you got an ammo box, a lot of ammo boxes. Holy smokes! Oh uh, uh, yeah, just uh, what we got like twelve, I think twelve, fourteen uh, uh, k ammo boxes, and a lot of other uh, a lot of other storage boxes. I'm not. S oh, here's a container controller here. Uh, 280k uh, storage controller. Oh, we got an ammo controller on top of that. So uh, 280k for ammo as well. Uh, plus all the ammo boxes, so it can definitely hold a lot of ammo. Again, I think it's uh, it's designed to be a combat vessel, so um, I think that would be its uh, its deal. There is uh, load this thing up with a ton of ammo, ton of weaponry of your choice, and uh, take out a lot of uh, bad guys. So yeah, very cool, very cool. Again, this is the uh, Gripa, and this is by author. T Z R Y Y L O N five. Very cool. Agrippa class cruiser is the full name. So last creation today here. This was uh this is a pretty cool looking one here. This is the Soul Invictus by Blackleg uh Sanji or, or Sans. Um Blackleg Sans Sans. I, I might have uh, sorry if I butchered your name. Didn't did didn't mean to here. So uh <laughs> Yeah, look at this thing. I love this uh, wedge shape. Uh, kind of gives you that a bit of a Star Wars vibe going on here. The multicolor uh, setup here too. Pretty intricate uh, block work going on here. Some different uh, patterns here. Let me uh, just the lighting a little bit better here if I can. Nah, I don't think I can. Never mind. So uh, yeah, I like this bow area too. Look at all the weaponry up here. Holy smokes. I, I have a feeling this one's going to um, not comply to the uh, 2.1 million uh, Core 9 setup here. So we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see if that's correct or not. I like the uh, the blue thrusters and a lot of thrusters in here, too. Looks like it's kind of set up for um, some pretty serious endgame uh, type of combat, I would say. I like how this is kind of a, like a bit of an art statement going on with the uh, the entire ship here the way it's uh, set up with its color scheme um, like these side areas matching the uh, the colors of the thrusters and you've got your your black blue and whites and grays in there and a very aggressive uh, wedge design uh, set up here too like the uh, the texture lights uh, going along the sides here or the bottom Cool looking bow here too. I like this uh, this setup here a lot. Uh, see it out. Oh, geez, what do we got there? Ten artillery launchers, and it looks like uh, maybe uh, six laser cannons, which would be uh, yeah, pretty devastating to most uh, enemy ships in the game. That's for sure. Wow, look at all these thrusters. It's, uh, these are all lift thrusters. Holy s... Well, 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 yeah, in this section here. So we got uh, we got five per side, so that will be ten lift thrusters right there. We look at the uh, the thrusters set up over here. God, these are XL thrusters, too. That's That would be five per side plus a large in the mix. I like that, uh, uh, that set up there. But, yeah, this thing has got some serious thrust power to it. Uh, these are XL thrusters on the sides there, too. And uh, quite a bit more uh, large thrusters going along the sides in this location and in this location. And, uh, yeah, lift. I uh, got some, jeez, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of lift power. Yeah, another one here, plus the uh, we know we got the 10-pack uh, the back over here of lift thrusters, too. I like how that kind of looks where the uh, texture lights kind of pop. Everything else is really blacked out, especially in this, this back area here. And uh, we've got, a, it looks like a pretty impressive hangar door covered with uh, blast doors on the back. And cool looking bridge set up here. I love this uh, roundest uh, setup on the back there. The way it uh, got the glass window there. Looks like our, our probably our long range radar. Oh, a lot of busy action going on up over here. And this is a pretty tried and true uh, combat uh, CV setup here too. Having your your bridge back um 
sometimes, you know, some of these ships might even have another location to, you know, pilot the ship at. But being this far back and with your weapons way up there, the enemy is pretty much going to be trying to shoot around the front side of your ship. Oh, and I didn't even see all these laser cannons. Uh, these Here, I'm going to better check. See if these are lasers. No, these are positrons. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. And it looks like this uh, this uh, area here is set up to add some more launchers. And we got Xeno, too. Look at that. Yeah, this is uh, definitely going to be more of a uh, in-game uh, combat-oriented uh, ship. Or at least its main goal. It probably does other things, too. But uh, combat is definitely a focal point. All right, well, let's get inside this here a minute. See what's going on. I don't know if I should adjust the lighting or not. It doesn't seem to really be helping. Open sesame. Let me check. Uh, oh, you know, I forgot to check the P menu options on uh, a couple previous ships. Darn it. Just want to see if we had some options here. Okay, we got the hangar. And uh, uh, just to the author, too, uh, hangar uh, used in this method as like a vehicle hangar is actually spelled with a uh, A-R at the end. So H-A-N-G-A-R. I made the mistake, the same mistake, actually, when I first started building. And uh, I called it wrong. Someone called me out on it, and I fixed it. So I just thought I'd do the same thing. Ah, that's a big, uh, big opening here to the, uh, the hangar. So it's protected by a force field on the inside. And the blast doors that uh, are definitely stronger than hangar doors. And uh, as soon as we walk in here, a big open hangar. Interesting uh, floor set up here. Kind of like that. You got some light effects kind of coming through the ship here too, which um, make things look pretty nice. But you got you got a lot of room in here for uh, a lot of different ships. Uh, interesting color uh, design here. Some blue, uh, this big formation coming up here, and texture lights kind of dropping down from it it's almost uh, a bit of an artistic design there i kind of like that it's uh very interesting oh we got a fusion reactor over here and another one over here so we're at least running double fusion reactors i like this setup here this uh, cut into the wall here it looks like a uh, production area with security so uh seeing uh what uh four Probably advanced constructors and a deconstructor, some storage uh, controllers, armed guards, of course, um, on that side. And it looks like this side is doing the same thing. So it looks, we at least got eight advanced constructors, two deconstructors in the ship stock. Um, it looks like, uh, let's say these are some 640K uh, storage base as well. Or are these ammo? No, that's just, okay, that's storage there. Okay. I mean, can walk forward. Uh, I'm going to walk up one of these side uh, ways here. Cool looking uh, staircase there. So, yeah, okay. So, let's just get you up into the uh, the fusion reactor rooms on either side of the hangar. Oh, we got a uh, ramp here, too. So, okay. Ground access ramp right below here. Very cool. I wouldn't doubt this is set up with a uh, control so it uh, doesn't open up when you don't want it to. Uh, and then we got elevators there, and let's go forward first, and then we'll uh, come back and catch those elevators. So, wow, look at this section here. Here, I, I'm going to try one more time with the lighting. Looks like we got a lot of light action going on in here. Oh, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, it was pretty bright in here. Easy to see. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of parts. Uh, looks like we got some uh, large shield pieces, medium shield pieces. Uh, protection tanks, small shield pieces, CPU cores. Uh, this is cool. This is, yeah, that's a uh, armored glass uh, floor over all this too. I like how you can see all this stuff in there. That's that's really cool. Yeah, this thing looks like it's shielded uh, uh, a lot. Uh, again, uh, combined with the fusion reactors and all these big shield parts, uh, this thing's going to have some pretty serious uh, shield going on here. And our main CPU core, that's a pretty interesting looking display there. It's kind of like, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's real interesting how that how that looks. It's kind of a, almost like a, yeah, it uh, looks neat. It looks a little different. It's kind of, looks a little brownish there with the, uh, the, the, the texture lights. But, yeah, it looks really cool. And I know this is all Xeno. 
it's only uh yeah so xeno xeno uh core room here and it looks like this is a place uh alternative pilot location so like a secure bridge for you and uh the passengers the pilot and the passengers uh in this uh probably extra hardened area away from the uh the first person bridge that is on the top of the ship so that yeah that is cool i kind of half suspected something like that in the ship just just uh, obviously it's a very hardcore combat ship here so let's go up the elevator looks like we can get off at this floor here just kind of overlooking the hangar big old armored glass area and a third fusion reactor holy smokes i am trying to guess the uh the cpu by just seeing the parts and right now I, if I were to take a guess, just seeing the uh, the shielding and the weaponry, I bet you we're hitting six to seven million uh, CPU usage. Just, just a wild guess. I haven't looked. Come on, look at this setup here. So this is glass here too. So this walks above the hangar, heads out to this section. Oh, there's our uh, main shield. And uh, the warp drive over here. Uh, cool looking displays for those. And uh, wow, what do we got going on back here? Another elevator. Does that keep on going up? That keeps on going up too. Okay, so our uh, our CPU core room over here. And it looks like it's going to have the, uh, the cores installed uh, stock too. So I believe this is going to be CPU compliant. But it's going to be expensive for sure. Uh, end game combat ships typically are probably your most expensive types of builds you could have uh, due to the uh, ex uh, very expensive parts uh, CPU wise that you would really want on a high end one at least wow so now we're up to the bridge here this is quite the big bridge area here definitely like that okay it's night time outside right now a lot of crew around here a lot of NPCs. Looks like we can walk up to the sides of the bridge and actually walk out onto the uh, the ship itself. And I didn't even think about that, but like these areas over here, just the lights, um, are kind of like landing pads. Like you could dock smaller vessels here and whatnot and uh, access them from inside the ship. That was kind of unexpected. Didn't, didn't even think about that one. Oh, we got a top area, two of blast doors there. Just go back in and wander around a little bit more here. Oh yeah, this is a this is that top hanger. So it, yeah, it's not the same hanger as below. This is another whole area to uh, land in uh, vehicles with, or you know, different different kinds of ships and things like that. And we got a medical bay out the back. I look at the checkered walls there. Wow, so this is kind of almost like a cafeteria right behind the uh, this main bridge. This is a big bridge area. We got our teleporter over here. Glass ceiling there. This was the elevator. I think we came up to this floor on. Ah, so yeah, quite a lot of docking uh, potential too. Um, I'm fearing though that I'm. Uh, I think there's other areas of the ship I am missing yet. That was our core room up to the bridge. We came through here, I think. Yes, right across the top of the hangar. Down in this area. Yeah, we got off at that floor before. Oh, that might be it. Okay, because of the nature of the ship it is, I'm just going to fly into the, uh, the front hall area, see what's going on on the insides. I suspected it. So a lot of thrusters. Oh, look at this. This is like a, it's like a big decoy thruster right here. Or no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Huh? Didn't expect that. These things have a lot of hit points. Pretty sure. Yeah, sixteen thousand hit points on that. A lot of other thrusters in here too. Yeah, some of them. Uh, obviously, most of them are uh, 
visible from outside? Well, I guess not. So these are some buried hidden thrusters. I mean, it already has a huge number of big thrusters on it, but there are some more on the inside as well. Wow. It would take an awful lot to uh, take this ship down, I think. And I'm thinking we're looking at like some solid, probably packed xeno areas around here. And then you've got these big high hit point uh, thrusters in front of that. Uh, kind of filling up a lot of the front of the ship. Oh yeah, and the down thrusters are right there. Wow. All right. So I'm going to look at the... Let's look at the numbers here. So, oh man, I was way off. Yeah, I started to think I was really way off, especially when I'd uh, seen more thrusters on the inside. But I, this is uh, a lot of CPU, a lot of CPU. It's uh, it actually has all the CPU blocks in it, though, plus a bunch of left over on here. Um, now it looks like it's uh, dealing with just two different types of weapons. Uh, your your big uh, laser uh, launchers. Or is that, no, that, that's Positron, I think. And then uh, your uh, artillery. Quite a lot of each of those, though. Enough to do uh, serious damage pretty quickly here. So let's look at some numbers here. So we're size class 13, 54, 41 strafing, 43 lift, 46 down, 51 reverse, 78 fuel tanks, uh, 18 oxygen tanks, uh, 45 hour and 43 minute build time. Has a lot of uh, CPU uh, quantums in here. Uh, 112 uh, 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 CPU. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, at the rate I go, that'd take a while for me to uh, to ever get in game here. Uh, 30,000 estrium and zacosium usage. Xeno material 93,000. Yeah, this is a uh, it's a big one. This is uh, this is definitely an end game ship for sure. Um, it looks like it would be pretty devastating, too. I'd hate to uh, uh, roll against this thing, um, especially with its... Uh, it'd probably knock out your shield in one shot and probably blow a hole right through the middle of your ship with a second shot, shot of the uh, artillery there. Uh, unless you're, of course, flying a ship like this one. Uh, then, uh, then, then, then it's game on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very cool ship there. That's a... It's a that's a mean son of a gun there. I love the uh, the shaping in the style and the wedge shape design uh, combination with the uh, the bridge layout here too. That's uh, pretty cool. Just the way the uh, the block work was done. It kind of curves around here a fair amount and kind of goes back into that um, wedge shape pattern on the back. A little bit, little bit of a uh, little bit of wavy action there, but uh, really cool. Very artistic as well. So again, this is the uh, Soul Invictus by Blackleg Sanji, or back or Blacklegs Sands. Um, I'm sorry, I kind of probably probably screwed up your name there. Um, yeah, really cool ship there. Like the uh, the color design and everything else going on. Plus, you can move uh, some other ships around. You got the uh, the two hangers in here and some uh, landing pads on the side. Um, yeah, pretty cool art art styling to the uh, the ship as well. Anyway, that is all I've got for today. So uh, I'll probably be playing on the uh, the Reforged Eden server a little bit later today and uh, go from there. And other than that, um, on my own personal side projects, uh, I do plan on releasing the vanilla version of that uh, Megalodon uh, this weekend, probably Sunday. Uh, and it might be just be uh, addition to the uh, existing... Uh, blueprint uh providing uh additional link to the uh the ship rather than uh like a full new release it'll be a you know it's a completely uh different ship i suppose um uh, well not really but um it should work out anyway y'all have yourself a great weekend and i will talk to you later